let's go for a little ride. One's a former federal officer. The other one's a professional criminal. We find them, we take them as a team, and we bring them back. And above all else, we don't ever let them get in the cars. Jacob is Dom's brother. There are now nine Fast and Furious movies, not including Hobbs and Shaw, and I'm gonna rank those nine Fast and Furious movies. So here we go. Number nine, Fast and Furious 6. This was taken a week ago. It's impossible. I need your help, Dom. I need your team. This is the Fast and Furious film that officially changes the crew from being heist performing street racing criminals to super agents. This movie tries to be a Fast and Furious film along with a Mission Impossible film, but it fails miserably. Almost as if they thought the two could actually mix. And honestly, I, I just don't like this movie because it feels really long and kind of boring at times, and I personally just don't latch onto it. Number 8, Fate of the Furious. Did you ever think you'd betray your family the way you did today? This movie doesn't even feel like a Fast and Furious film. It just kind of feels like a stupid but still occasionally fun action film with huge stunts and a very crazy plot. And funny enough, that lack of Fast and Furious feeling is why this isn't my most hated Fast and Furious movie, simply because I don't really hold it at the same standards as the other films. With that said, I'm able to kind of turn my brain off and enjoy this when I watch it, but I probably won't be re-watching it anytime soon because there are better Fast and Furious and action films in general out there that I rather spend my time on. Number 7, F9, or Fast 9, or the Fast Saga, whatever they're calling this movie. I came here to take you down, little brother. That's your mistake. This is my world. I honestly don't completely hate this film, but I don't know. I think after seeing this film, I just kind of feel done with the Fast and Furious franchise, so I don't even care anymore with the movies. Yeah, that's a brutal way to put it, but I'm exhausted with my argument of LA street racers, so the amount of insanity in this film doesn't really even faze me. Also, ironically, it kind of brought back that Fast and Furious feeling, unlike Fate of the Furious, so that does help a little. That being said, this isn't actually a good movie. It has flaws left and right, and it's terrible cheesy at times, so I don't even consider this an actually well-made film. I just didn't hate watching it. Probably won't rewatch it though. Maybe I'll look up some clips, but I doubt that I'll do a full rewatch. Number six, Furious 7. The most important thing in life will always be the people right here, right now. That's what's real. Hello? Dominic Toretto. You don't know me. You're about to. I'm keeping this one short and sweet. I don't like the majority of this film. Seeing it once is enough, but I give it a ton of slack for Paul Walker. Number five, Too Fast, Too Furious. I don't mind this movie. I like that it's more grounded, but it's definitely not perfect. The best way of putting it is I probably wouldn't specifically rewatch it, but if I'm doing a marathon, I'm definitely not dreading it. Also, Pizza places don't make motors. Number four, Tokyo Drift. All my life, people have told me I don't fit in. Maybe I've just been in the wrong place. Not only is this about one of my favorite forms of racing, but it's also just a really solid film. Tokyo Drift is probably the most unique film in the Fast and Furious franchise. The cast is really talented, the races are super entertaining, and overall it's just a fun film to watch. Number three, Fast and Furious. This is where my jurisdiction ends. And this is where mine begins. I'm not too sure, but I kind of feel like this movie isn't talked about all that much compared to the other Fast and Furious films, but I personally love it. I think this reunion of the original cast and the movie that truly kicks off the franchise with the main ensemble is done really well. It has believable action, it has a focus on car- well, okay, somewhat believable action. It goes a little crazy at times, but still, it has a focus on cars and street racing. It features the last of what we see of Cop Brian, which is kind of a sad note. And I think my favorite thing about this movie is Brian trying to re-earn Dom and Mia's trust, which I thought was done in a really great way. Also, the 
tension between Dom and Brian is really well acted, and since Paul and Vin both had time to work even more on their acting skills, you get even better performances out of them. This movie isn't perfect, I'll admit it, but I still love it for what it is. Number 2, Fast Five. That's a stealth mission. We'll be in and out before they even know we were there. We're talking about breaking into a police station. This is crazy. This is a hundred million dollars. You say what? I'm down. Out of all the Fast and Furious films, Fast Five is probably the best one in terms of filmmaking. It has a great plot, the execution is fantastic, the acting is great, the action is very entertaining. It's like 80% down to earth while still having fun, and most importantly, though it doesn't focus as much on street racing, it still has that important focus on cars. But the thing I love most about this movie is the heist, the motivation to do said heist, and how this film closes. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Again, this would have been the perfect finale to the franchise. Number one, The Fast and the Furious. No joke, it took me a couple days to decide between The Fast and the Furious or Fast Five as the number one Fast and Furious film. And because of its more quality filmmaking, I almost went with Fast Five. However, as much as I love Fast Five, it doesn't have the nostalgic and unique feel that The Fast and the Furious has. And I personally have a great time watching this movie. This movie has a really interesting plot that keeps me hooked and entertained, and I feel like this, along with Fast Five, is one of the most rewatchable Fast and Furious films because of that. Also aside from Tokyo Drift, this probably has the most focus on cars and street racing compared to the rest of the franchise. So that's even more reason to put it at number one. Also, what are you smiling about? Dude, I almost had you. <laughs> that's my ranking of the Fast and Furious franchise. This, of course, is just my personal opinion. So if your list is different from mine, feel free to share it in the comments below. Also, while you're here, if you enjoyed this video and want to stick around, click that subscribe button because it's free. So you always see my videos in your subscription feed. Roll credits.